An anti-Israel movement is headed to an unlikely place, the Brooklyn College campus, which borders some of Brooklyn's most heavily Jewish neighborhoods. 25% of the students are Jewish here. A lot of my friends that are Jewish are really upset about it. Students and politicians today protested the planned visit by members of the so-called BDS movement. It's a pro-Palestinian movement which, according to its website, advocates for boycotts, divestment, and sanctions against Israel. We're not saying cancel this. Free speech and people are entitled to free speech no matter how much you disagree with it. But the college, Brooklyn College, should not be sponsoring this forum. Critics say the decision by the Brooklyn College Political Science Department to co-sponsor next week's event crosses a line between free speech speech and tax-funded hate speech. To use tax dollars to sponsor an event calling for the destruction and elimination of Israel is outrageous. If it was a pro-Israel event, would you feel the same way? It would be the same thing if there's no dialogue. The whole issue, there should be dialogue. There should be a discussion on both sides. But administrators here ask if a college campus is not the place to air different points of view, then what is? We need to be a place where controversial views can be expressed um, on whatever side of uh, challenging issues people are on. The spokesman for Brooklyn College says the co-sponsorship of the event is not the same as an endorsement of the speaker's views. The political science department believes that this is a point of view that is worthy of presentation and debate. We've had uh, uh, pro-Israel speakers on our campus many times as well. And while the controversial speakers were invited by a group of pro-Palestinian students, their classmates continue to debate what's right. Yeah, it's probably not right to take an anti-Israeli stance here. The school isn't actually endorsing their opinion. They're endorsing the fact that their opinion should be heard. The event is scheduled for February 7th. Melissa Russo, News 4 New York.